So in the last video, we went over if statements, which can be used as expressions, and that is to check whether something is true or false, and depending on whether it's true or false, it will execute an action. And in this video, I wanna go over the when statement. And the when statement corresponds to the switch statement in Java, so it is used to check whether an item is a certain item, and depending on what it is, it will have many different outputs, and it is just used to simplify giving different outputs and executing different actions based on what parameter you put in or what value is given. But let's get started immediately by creating a print statement. So the first one we're gonna do is print enter a number, and right under we're gonna do value number is going to equal read line, which must not be null, and it's gonna be two int. So we need to make sure we enter an integer when we read this line or else the program will crash. But uh, we're not gonna handle that exception in this video. We're just gonna enter an int and pretend that we will know to only enter an int. Now we're gonna copy and paste this real quick. It's gonna be enter another number and it's gonna be number two. So there we go. And then down here, we're gonna write print line and it's gonna say enter an operator. And we're gonna have plus, minus, asterisk symbol or slash. Then we're gonna write value operator. It's going to equal read line. And down here we're gonna create a value of result, which is going to use this when expression to check which operator we insert. So we're gonna write operator and we are gonna create a block. And when the operator is a plus symbol, we can just create this small arrow. With the interpolation symbol, we are going to write number plus number two equals, and then we need to interpolate the entire expression. So we're gonna do number plus number two. And then we can go down here and say when it equals the minus symbol, we can go and write another arrow. And to simplify this, I'm actually just gonna copy and paste the first one and change them all accordingly. For the first one, we want it to be a minus. The second one, we want I mean, the third one, we want to be an asterisk. And the final one, we want to be a slash. And then we need to fix all of these as well. So minus, asterisk, slash, and finally over here, minus, asterisk, and slash. And if they enter something that's a bit funky, we're just gonna write else, operator is not recognized. And finally, we need to print this result. So we're gonna write down here, print line, and we can just enter the result. And when we run this program, It'll tell us to enter a number, so I'll go first with 17, and then I'll enter 12, and then I need to pick an operator, so whether I want to divide it, multiply it, or subtract it, so let's just go for multiplying, and it will tell you 17 times 12 is 204. So this is really great for simplifying expressions that need to know which input a user has put in. And it does not have to be an expression, you can actually just take this away and it can be used as a statement. So you can definitely just write print line in each one of these, but I think it was easier just to write all of this and add print line at the bottom. And that is the first example of how to use the when statement. Now I want to show you a few other ways and for this I'm just gonna copy and paste it in because it's gonna be a bit easier. So the next way to use a when statement is to check whether a number is in a range. So this is between one and 10, and 10 is inclusive, of course. So if we actually run this program, you'll see that it will print this statement down here because 50 is a number in between 10 and 100, 100 inclusive. And that's a good way to check within a range what something is. And then we have another way to do this. If you want to be much more specific, you can actually just set a comma here and here. And of course you need to remove these. And here we'll write one or 10. And actually we can't put this here because it's redundant. So we'll put 11. And here we can write 11 or 100. So when A is one or 10, it will print line one or 10. When it's 11 or 100, it'll print 11 or 100. So let's just put one here. And you'll see it prints one or 10. And you can also use this for strings. So let's pretend you were writing a string like hello or goodbye. And here it, you will write nice or you can write bad. And then we're just gonna change this to a string. So we're gonna write goodbye. And here we can put a response as goodbye, good sir, or cool. So it also works for strings and other values, whatever you feel like inserting there should work pretty nicely. Here is a very simple bot that just responds to these inputs. And you can create a lot of good stuff with this. So we will just continue on with the final example that I have. 
and I'm just gonna copy and paste it in one more time. So this is the final example I have. So the first thing I did here is create a variable called number and it has been initialized with the value one. And then here we have an if expression where we're gonna take, uh, we're gonna create a variable of X and if the number is more than 20, we're gonna return the string hello. Else if the number is less or equal to one, we're gonna return the number two. And finally, if it is none of these above, if it's between one and 20, we are going to return a list of numbers. And you might be asking, why did I make this so complicated? Well, I'll show you immediately right under what it is used for. So essentially, you can also use this is keyword to check whether it is an int, a string, or a list, or whatever type you want to check. So we can check whether x is an int. If it turns out that it's number two, you will have this uh, block of code get executed. If you write when and it says, ah, it's an int, you can also check when that int is one of these two numbers, it will execute these two lines of code. So this is just a nested when expression, but uh, it also can check if it's a string and if it's a string, it will execute this line of code. And if it's a list, it will execute this line of code. So it's also good for checking whether it is a certain type. And yeah, let's run this program just to see what it does. So we entered the number of one and it should return two, which means we should get this print line of goodbye. And as you can see, it printed goodbye. And let's just try to see what happens if we turn it into a string. So we need to put this number to 10, so it's between one and 20. And right there we have one, two, three, so it printed all the numbers here. And finally, we can check what happens if it is a string. So we're just gonna put the number 100. So this if statement will evaluate to being hello. And let's click on play. And there we go. It adds the length of this string plus one, so you will get the output of six. And that is essentially how you use when statements. They can be used as expressions, they can be used as statements, and they are used for saving time. I believe I've covered the major part of how to use the when statement, and I will end this video here. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.